Hello? Yo, it's Kaito. I just sent you the photo. Later. So this is Ishimatsu, huh? Gray suit, gloves... We should be able to tell when he's leaving from here. Once he takes us there, we'll be ready to raid the lab. You good to go? Yeah, let's do it. We're in position, Kaito-san. Tell Kido to make the call. Gotcha. It's time for your big acting debut, buddy. You there, Tak? Kido's call went off without a hitch. Ishimatsu's on the move. Great. Now we just have to find him and follow him. Don't fuck this up, man. Don't worry. Me and Sugira got it covered. Uh-huh. Suspicious. Suit, gloves, that's him.
on guard. Yeah. Thankfully, that makes him stand out even more. I understand. I'll be right there.
No one. Monsieur Lee? It's a love hotel that closed down years ago. Perfect place to set up a mad scientist lab. Kaito-san, it's me. You find the place? We've got a building that looks the part, at least. We're gonna head in. Be careful, man. Yep. Let's do it. Right. Let's go, Yagami-san. Jeez, it's dark. What's the deal with this place? Hey, do you think this counts as trespassing? More or less. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Yagami-san, what do we do? Only one thing to do. We fight!
I bet those weren't the last of them, Yagami-san. If anything, that was just a welcoming party. They'll know we're here, too. Probably have weapons next time. Guns, worst case scenario. Who are these guys, anyway? Bums off the street, if I had to guess. Ishinose must have offered them a lot to do this. Yo, you guys okay in there? Yep, we're right on track. They've got guards, too. There's gotta be something here. Something like a secret lab, maybe? It'd be the perfect place. It's so dark, you could carry a corpse in here and nobody'd ever know. Think you two can handle it on your own? Actually, I just thought of something. Can you call Mafuyu for me? Get her over here. And tell her to bring the cops. Huh? Why? Well, think about it. We're trespassing, yeah? Even if we do stumble on Shono's secret lab, the court would never accept evidence found illegally. And calling the cops makes it all fucking better? Not exactly. Even they can't investigate without a warrant. Then why the hell are you trying to get Mafuyu shot over there? I've got an idea. Just talk to Mafuyu for me, okay? We'll keep looking for the lab. Got it. Ugh, it's dark. Hold on. We shouldn't go in there without a light. Who knows what's going to be in here? Let's be careful. Sukira, you're gonna give me a heart attack. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> what is it this time? Sugira? This isn't funny, man. Where are you? Almost there. Nice. Almost there. Nice. Almost there. That'll do it.
Segura! The hell? Can't you see I'm trying to have some fun here? <laughs> I give him three minutes, <laughs> then he's just another body. One man. <laughs> Don't mention it. Come on, let's keep going. the line.
is this? This is it. This has to be Shono's secret lab. <gasps> you two! What are you? Shono. I didn't think I'd find you working at the scene of the crime. Guess our timing's pretty good. Sugira. Get some video of this place. Mm -hmm. Stop that! So all those Yakuza who got their eyes gouged out, you did it here, huh? Can't wait to see what turns up. The cops are gonna have a field day in this place. The victim's fingerprints, hair, bodily fluids, DNA. Can you imagine just how long I've been waiting to see evidence like this come to light? I... I don't know what you're... Huh? Huh? Segura, what's wrong? I'm sorry, Yagami-san. I've been lying to you about everything all along, until now. What do you mean by that? I'm not actually ex Kajihira. That wasn't the truth. Neither was my name. Yagami-san, I... I actually know you from a long time ago. That's the whole reason I approached you. My real name, Yagami-san? Fumia Terasawa. Terasawa? I'm the younger brother of Emi, who this bastard murdered. <laughs> Sugiro! <laughs> Nobody move! You in the hood! Drop the knife! Now! You're under arrest for attempted murder. The cuffs won't be necessary. He's no longer a threat. Don't worry about your friend. We won't bother prosecuting him. Oh, yeah? No crime was committed here. But, sir, we can't just... You need to get forensics in here. There's a good chance a series of murders took place in this very room. And what brings you to say that? Kido told me about it. Unfortunately, we'll need a stronger premise than that. They would never issue a warrant on such grounds. <laughs> well, then it's a good thing I have a better reason lined up. Which is what? Trespassing charges against a rogue ex-lawyer. Which makes this... a crime scene. Guess you'll have to block it off. Preserve the evidence, you know? Yagami-kun. How clever. You don't mind being arrested if it means helping your investigation. I suppose this was your plan from the start. That's why you had Fujikun get the police involved. <laughs> you surprise me. Out of the way! Let me through! Vice Minister Ichinose! This place is under the Ministry of Health's jurisdiction. I demand you leave here at once. Huh. I didn't realize you guys were in the love hotel business, Vice Minister. It's a laboratory. Our top secret research facility for AD9. You have no idea of the fallout this could cause. Then let's find out. If you didn't notice, I just trespassed. Meaning, this whole laboratory is a crime scene now. Isn't that right? Hmm. I'm not sure that's going to work, Yagami-san. At least four people were murdered in here. I'm sure of it. The proof's right here in this room. So please, I'm begging you to help me here. What a conundrum. You see, none of that is my concern. What? Hey. You 
should be thanking your lucky stars we haven't beaten the crap out of you by now. <laughs> <sighs> Shit, almost makes you feel bad for the poor guy. <laughs> Even if he deserves it. You smoke? Man, you're as soft as ever, Kaito Anaki. Humor me. According to you, this is a secret research facility for AD-9. Yes, Vice Minister? That's correct. Hmm. Our nation's government has invested countless resources into AD-9. It would seem rather foolish if we were to stop its momentum over this. I'm willing to overlook it for AD-9's sake. What? But, sir... Many thanks. Truly. I am in your debt. Of course, Vice Minister. Now, everyone is to evacuate the premises at once. I hope you can continue your research into 89 without any more disturbances. Let me assure you, Dr. Shono, this will not happen again. Is that so? Meaning... You're working for 89 too, aren't you, Chief Prosecutor? It's time for you to go home, Yagami-san. Just how long have you and Morita been working together? AD-9 has many influential supporters. There's no stopping our momentum. Bullshit, there's not. I am not gonna let you win that easy. Ah, uh, oh yes. I should let you know that I just received a call from Director Kido. Kuroiwa sends his regards. Kuroiwa? Apparently, he rescued Kido. He's been freed. Local thugs have made Kamurocho too dangerous for him. The AD-9 conspiracy entangled the ADDC's director, Kido, the same man who had unveiled it to the world. An unfinished drug that exacted human sacrifice. Yagami believed he had finally found definitive proof. But even that was swallowed by the darkness. All for the greater good of a drug 
that would save humanity. You look worse than I was expecting. I hear Kuroiwa paid you a visit. Yep. Just him and that baton he's got. Beat the shit out of us. He took Kido too. How'd things go with your stuff? We found Shono's lab, but the police are basically refusing to investigate it. Why? Chief Prosecutor Morita's defending 89. You for real? Whatever evidence was there is probably long gone by now. Yagami-san. Right. There's something else I need to tell you, too. What is it? This have something to do with Sugiura? Yeah, um... That's not actually his name. Huh? So you were Emi Terasawa's little brother, huh? Why'd you keep it a secret? At first, I wanted to make Yagami-san remember. Remember what? How he let my sister suffer. In my eyes, he was a scumbag who let a murderer walk. The murderer who then burned Emi to death. Damn, that's heavy. Go on. You don't have to hold back. Back then? I was just a shut-in fuck-up. My life was in shambles. Emmy was still there for me, though. When nobody else was. And then... Somebody murdered her. Someone as nice as Emmy. Dead. For no reason. But the world doesn't stop for that shit. It just keeps turning, and people go about their business. Over time, I started to hate what our whole society stood for. So, I'm guessing that's what led you to start that burglary ring? Pretty much. At the very least, I didn't want to keep living my life for other people. You know, when Emmy died, Yagami-san didn't apologize. Not to me, or to my parents. So that's when you guys first met, huh? Yep. I looked totally different back then, though. Had glasses and long hair, so couldn't really see my face. That's why I didn't recognize you. Defending a murderer? You're just as guilty as he is. Those words cut deeper than you probably could have imagined. Even so, Okubo insisted he didn't do it. Since I was his lawyer, I couldn't apologize. That would essentially be admitting he was guilty. What about after the trial? I didn't apologize then, either. Instead, I ran away. Put it all behind me. Right. You didn't just walk away. You practically got this bar. At least Okubo was getting the death penalty. It didn't feel good, but I settled for that. Then why'd you start hanging around Tuck again? Because he found his way back to the courtroom to deal with all this mole business. Even got a Yakuza captain off the hook. It's not like I suddenly just became a lawyer again. Sure seemed that way from my perspective. So. I wanted to see where your head was at. Find out if you'd forgotten what you did to Emmy. If you were gonna pretend like nothing happened, I'd make you remember. And I'd make you pay for it. And 
that's why you approached me. Yup. I wanted to know what Okubo was up to, too. Find out if he was as afraid of death as he should have been. If anyone was gonna go see him, it was you. But now, it's looking more and more likely Okubo was framed. And I never would have known if I hadn't teamed up with you. Ironic, huh? Three years later, the real killer's finally clear. And now it turns out, Shono, he's the one leading the charge to cure Alzheimer's. He gets to go down in history as a hero? For what? Stabbing my sister to death? Burning her body? Don't worry. Everyone will see him for who he really is once the truth gets out. You weren't there today. The whole fucking system is protecting him. He bent the truth, suppressed evidence right in front of me. What's the point of fighting that kind of battle, huh? It's bullshit! You saw it too, right, Yagami-san? Right? Look, Sugira. Ever since Emi-chan died, I've been running away from the truth. I was worried. Worried I wasn't gonna like what I found, that maybe I was responsible for her death. It was killing me. I couldn't bring myself to face it all. Talk. If you ask me, Everyone has something they're trying to hide from themselves. But sometimes facing your fears is the only way forward. The real reason you came to me is because deep down, you wanted to know the truth. That sound about right? still true, we have our work cut out for us. We're gonna chase the truth as far as we can, even if it's in vain. Yeah, but all our paths are blocked. Who the hell cares? We'll blaze our own path then. Right, Tuck? <laughs> yeah. You guys are out of your goddamn minds. It's Mafuyu. What's up, Mafuyu? I need to speak with you about Morita. Wait, you're still here in town? Yes. I'm waiting at Tender. Do you think you could come meet me here? I... I think I'm being followed. What? It felt like someone was watching me all the way to the bar. I don't believe I'm imagining it. More of those bums the Ministry of Health hired? Or maybe one of the Chief Prosecutor's men. All right, I'll be right over. Thank you. I'm coming with. Igashi, keep an eye on Sugiura while we're gone. Huh? Why do... <sighs> Fine. Let's hit it. this. Keep up, huh? 
Thanks for coming. How did it look outside? Did you see anyone suspicious? Not particularly. Seemed fine to me. Mind if I sit? What happened to your face? What? This? It's nothing. You said you wanted to talk to me about Morita? Yes. Specifically about how he acted tonight. It's hard to imagine the Morita I know doing that. It's almost like... He's a different person. Almost like... He cared more about politics than the law. Not surprising. He's right in the middle of this 89 mess. <sighs> Thing is... Morita is the reason I decided to become a prosecutor. When my mother was killed in a hit and run, he was there to give me courage, show me a way forward. I've heard. That said, as for why he has an interest in protecting 89, I might have an idea. Hmm? About ten years ago, something happened to his family. Perhaps that's what changed him. Made him look the other way on this. What happened? Uh, hold on. I'm not entirely sure my theory is correct. It wouldn't be fair if I misrepresented the facts. However, I just spoke to a former police detective who handled that case. I'm about to get the case file from him. Where? We're meeting at the children's park. But it felt like I was being followed, so... I didn't want to go alone. So, that's our job here? We're your bodyguards? Yes. At least, that was the plan. Seeing what already happened to you... You think a couple of scratches are gonna slow me down? We'll do it. Right, Doc? If you let us see the case file, what do you say to that? Of course. It's a deal, then. We'll be your escorts. Oof, that's cold. Extorting the poor girl? Guess chivalry's dead, Mafia-chan. Are you ready? The detective is waiting for us. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Well, do you see anyone? Not yet. There. Guess you were right on the money, Mafia Chan. Looks like they want to fight, too. Yep. Those aren't let's chat over some coffee faces. So what? Are they gonna follow us the whole way like that? What should we do? You back off a bit. We'll take care of them. Let's go, Kaito-san. You got this! Ma for you! Go ahead! Thank you, Yagami-kun! Keep going! Hell yeah! What? No love for me, Mafia Chun? Hang in there too, Kaito san! Now we're talking! Alright! Mafia Chun's watching! So let's not screw this up! Yagami Kun!
damn it! Is the place. He should already be here. You said he's an ex-detective, right? Yes. Let's roll. Uzawa-san, yes? Yep. That's me. the detective from before. Oh shit, Yagami. You used to be on the force? How'd you end up so scruffy? I gotta ask you the same thing. Y you two know each other? Why'd you bring these chowderheads along? Uh, well, uh, Yagami-kun, he's... he's sort of my boyfriend. What? Since when? It's not like that. Then why are you blushing? It's comedy hour over here. So, what do we have in the case? Ten years ago, Chief Prosecutor Morita's older brother strangled their mom to death. But why? 
A caretaker murder. Their mother was over 70 at the time, afflicted with a severe case of Alzheimer's. And they were taking care of her. Yeah. It's hard to say what a dementia patient will do if you take your eye off them, even for a second. She apparently used to leave the stove on after she cooked or wander out in the middle of the night. None of the homes had any openings for her either. Ultimately, Morita's brother took care of their mom by himself. Seems he put the burden entirely on his own back. He quit his job and moved in with their mother, all to ensure Morito was free to do his duty as chief prosecutor. He barely took breaks, barely slept, for seven whole years before the incident. All he got from his mother in return was abuse. Verbal, and sometimes physical. The hell'd she do that for? It's a side effect of dementia, though not all patients exhibit it. Some cases can be suppressed, but it doesn't always work out. At the time of the incident, Morita's brother was in the midst of a serious mental breakdown. I had to guess, he'd probably been about to break for months. And the result was him murdering his own mother. Whatever became of him after all that? Ah, uh, well... Not long afterward, he tried to hang himself and failed. So they suspended his sentence until he was more stable. And where is he now? It says here he died a year later. By his own hand. Dude. After everything his brother did, Morido was removed from the spotlight for a while. But it seems that's all in the past now. Everyone recognizes him as an unquestionable leader on the Force. So then, Morita blames Alzheimer's for all the suffering his family faced. Most likely, yes. The tragedy could have been prevented if only 89 had existed at the time. And once it does, who knows how many situations just like it could be avoided. With a tragedy like that, no wonder he's defending it. He's sure as hell not in it for the cash. Not for reputation, either. Guy's just doing what he thinks needs to be done. I suppose I can understand that. Huh? You can? Hmm? Huh? You think that excuses everything that monster has done? He framed Ayabe, turned a blind eye to Emi-chan's murder, left Okubo-kun out in the cold, all because this fucking drug needs to get fast-tracked? How can you begin to think that's right? How? If Morita can decide what needs to be done, then so can we. I'm gonna protect every last person they've trampled. I'm gonna get revenge for Emi-chan. Interesting. <laughs> what is? Oh. <laughs> It's just, uh, really obvious he used to be a lawyer. Used to? I've still got my badge. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, lay off the gambling, yeah? You lose more than you win. Yeah, whatever you say. Yagami-kun, I think it'd be best if you hold on to these files. Yo, talk. Make sure she gets home safe, will you? Hey, since we're close, do you mind if we drop in on salary? Oh, sure. What's up? Oh. No reason. She just likes seeing the two of us together. Oh, uh, what now? Uh, whatever. I was gonna go fill her in on what happened tonight anyway. Why? Keto never would have ended up in Kamurocho if not for Saori. And her honey trap. A honey trap? You can't be serious.
Ja. Hæ? Huh? Jo, I um uh... Yagami-san. I didn't realize you'd be stopping by. Awfully suspicious. Just what were you two up to in here? Um not much. Guess we should go then. Hey, how did everything go with Kido? Hold on. I want to know what you two were up to first. Well, Hoshinoku was just Okay, 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 okay. This is all just a big misunderstanding. Or maybe not. Or maybe it is. Maybe you'll get further next time. Is it just me or is sorry son enjoying this? Oh yeah. I've heard it's horrible what happened to Morita's mother. So the prosecution is all working to protect AD9? The chief prosecutor is at the very least. This is all my fault. I'm the one who told Morita that Yagami-kun would be there. If I had only gone to Izumita instead. Don't think like that. There's no knowing who's on what side. We can't trust anyone except ourselves. But um can I say something real quick? I'm not sure I'm the best person to be defending Ayabe. Not against an enemy this powerful. Well, what do you mean? Agreed. Hoshino-kun can't handle the pressure. It has to be you, Yagami-san. Oh, ha ha, real funny. This isn't a joke. We're dead serious. Please, Yagami-san. We're going up against the people who murdered Emi-san. Do it for her, for Okubo-san. And for Shintani-sensei. It's time for you to show the world what you think is right. No more running. Yeah, I guess so. I'll let Genda Sensei and Ayabe san know right away. This is bound to make headlines. I can see it now. Disgraced lawyer Yagami Sensei makes his triumphant courtroom return. All right, do we really need the disgraced part? But, all right. If they both agree, I'll defend Ayabe. <laughs> guess I'll need to start digging up some more evidence. Shall we? Can you stay with me until I find my taxi? Thank you for helping me tonight, Yagami-kun. <laughs> Uh, one second. It's Izumita. Now that I think about it, he left a message earlier, too. Did you listen to it? Yes. He said he wanted to talk. It sounds like he's at Majore. Majore, huh? Guess he wanted coffee instead of booze. What should we do? You don't have to do anything. Go home where you're safe. Izumita might be on their side, too. But... I'll go instead. You? Really? I'll be fine. All right. Stay safe out there.
Yagami, what are you doing here? Did you come alone? <sighs> yeah. Good. I sent Mafuyu home. I could go for a chat and a coffee, though. Sorry, not interested. What did you have to tell Mafuyu? It has nothing to do with you. Oh, then how about I guess? Huh? The reason you wanted to talk to her was... You were gonna confess your love, right? Come on, man. Be professional. You idiot. Now's no time for your jokes. No? Well, in that case... You were gonna complain about work. Hmm. That's not too far off. The boss got you down? Maybe a few choice words about what Morita did today? I see what you're getting at. What happened with the chief prosecutor and that Ministry of Health bureaucrat? It wasn't normal. Not normal? That's a bit of an understatement. They want to protect 89 so bad, they ignored evidence of a murder under their noses. You're working with them too, aren't you? What are you implying? Chief Prosecutor Morita is part of a conspiracy to push 89 through, no matter the cost. Do you have proof of that? This. I got it from Mafuyu. It's a case file detailing a domestic murder within Morita's family. Sound familiar? This is the first I'm hearing of it. I'll give it to you, if you have the strength to fight. Excuse me? What happens if you find out I'm telling the truth? How far will you go, Izumira? Would you be willing to bring your own boss to justice? Of course. Ask a hundred prosecutors and they'd answer the same way. Huh. Maybe you're not as bad as I thought. This incident is what gave Morita motivation to support 89. That's how I see it, at least. This is tragic. Yeah. His sick mom strangled to death by his own brother. <sighs> Morita's doing what he thinks is right in all this. That's why he suppressed evidence earlier. Back at Shono's lab, I mean. <sighs> the mole killed countless people there. It's only natural there'd be traces left behind. Our case would be practically bulletproof if we found them. It's just, I... I can't believe he would do this. The way he acted at the lab, we have to believe he's wrapped up in this. Wouldn't you agree? <clears throat> Izumira! I... I guess I can't deny that. Right? But if he really is trying to protect 89... How do we stop him? What can we even do? Well... I was planning to use Aibe's trial to bring all the dark truths about 89 out into the light. That's why I chased Hamura down. Why I needed to find Shono's lab. But Ichinose and Morita crushed those leads before they really even took off. And you don't have the ammo to stop them. <sighs> it hurts to hear the truth laid out like that. But it is a relief knowing you're not on their side, believe it or not. <laughs> Not sure this is the time to be relieved. Yeah, I know. Hey. Hmm? I was wondering. You think we could get Ichinose to testify? Get him called to the stand? Under what pretense? I don't know. Maybe to explain 89? It could be anything, really. He can't say no if the prosecution requests him, right? Then, what do we do once we have him there? We corner him eloquently. Shower him with questions until he gives up. Me and you both. 
Oh, wait, that's your big plan? Hey, desperate times call for desperate measures. We don't have a chance of winning if we're not willing to take some risks. Okay, I'm in. I'll let you know once I've made the arrangements. <sighs> what a day. Excuse me. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。So basically, it's up to Izumita whether or not Ichinose shows at the trial. The question now is, how do we press Ichinose once he's there? Before we get too far, Genda-sensei and Ayabe are both on board with Yagami-san representing the defense. The lousiest lawyer ever, back in the court. <laughs> Looks like it. Now, let's talk about our next steps. First on the agenda, though. <laughs> what do we call Sugiura now? That's your next step? It was, uh, Terasawa, yeah? I'm fine with Sugiura. Why change it up now? Fair enough. Um, speaking of next steps, I'd like to try putting some pressure on Kido again. Maybe we could use the video Sari-san helped us get to force him into testifying for us. Good plan. Anyone else? This doesn't have anything to do with the case, but some shit's going down in the Matsugane family. We can talk about it right after this, Yagami. Roger that. What's up? Just so you know, I'm gonna go talk to Okubo soon. He still thinks Emi-chan's family hates him for what happened. I need him to know that's not true, if that's okay with you. Sure, I'm fine with it.
You said something's going down with the Matsugane family? Yep, it's all pretty much gone to shit. After the Patriarch died, everyone just kind of went their separate ways. Especially the younger guys. Is anyone trying to hold the family together? Guy named Kengo, yeah. You beat the stuffing out of him once or twice, remember? He was one of Captain Hamura's golden boys. There's kind of something up with him, though. What? You'll see when we get there. Want to tag along? You want to go see Yokobo, Yagami-san? Yeah. I wish you could come too, but civilians can't get that kind of clearance. It's okay. It is how it is. I'd like to talk to Kido if possible. He'd make a valuable witness in Ayabe's trial. We've got some dirt on him, too. Yeah, thanks to Saori san's little adventure. He won't be able to turn us away once we remind him of that. Yagami san, are you ready to go to the ADDC? Sure, let's do it. Well, not just you. We'll need to take a taxi to the ADDC, right? I knew it would all work out. What do you mean? Seeing Kido without an appointment. That video has some serious power. You can thank Sari-san for that. Afternoon. Sorry to barge in. We know you're busy. Take a seat. <sighs> well, let's get straight to the point. We'd like to call you to the stand as a witness in Ayabe's trial. That's not possible. Would this change your mind? made me a very happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Do what you will. Wait, really? Ichinosei is unstoppable, and my testimony won't change that. You're up against everyone who stands to gain from 89, including patients who it would save, and their families. You can't win. 
Not how things stand, no. But that's exactly why we need your testimony. I have no obligation to help you. If you truly want to release the video, release it. You are aware of the consequences that would have, right? I'll become the laughing stock of the scientific world. My career will be over. But I'd rather that than make an enemy of Ichinose. I'm not ready to die just yet. Did you talk to Ichinose after Kuroiwa rescued you from the arcade? I have nothing to say about that. Now leave me alone. How can we change your mind? You're in the middle of this whole 89 mess. But you never actually killed anyone yourself. We might be able to argue for a lighter sentence. Absolutely not. You can't convince me to sign my own death warrant. Are you really that scared of him? Of course. Losing my job is a much more appealing proposal than losing my life. Nobody's dying if we can help it. We can protect you. Don't you understand? No matter what I say, you can't win this trial. But if I open my mouth, I'll have to live the rest of my life in fear. Until the day they finally finish the job. <sighs> Damn it. We're not getting anywhere. You shouldn't fight a battle you can't win. I would never have gotten where I am today without that bit of advice. So you don't think we can beat him? <laughs> Do you even have a shred of evidence? Oh, well, I suppose you did. But Ichinose-san took it right out of your hands. Can't you see how weak you are compared to him? You don't have a chance in hell of winning this case! Well, you're right. <laughs> For now, I guess. It's easy to tell how the case will go. We just don't have quite enough evidence yet. There's no way we'll take down Ichinose with what we've got at the moment. I appreciate the advice. Not yet, Yagami-san. He's trying to take us for fools. I can make him talk for sure. All we have to do is push the video to- We'd be wasting our time. You can't say that if you don't try. Come on, Yagami-san. I said we're not doing it. Please, just, just give it a shot. If the video doesn't work, then we'll find some other way to- There's no point. No point? That's enough of the tough detective act. You can't run. Hoshino! <sighs> I never said anything about running away, okay? I just... I don't want to lose. I thought I could help you. <laughs> Having a falling out, are we? Shut up! <sighs> Once I have my proof, I'll be back. <laughs> and when you do, I will gladly cooperate. Not that I'm expecting much. You ready to see Oka? Yeah.
Yagami-san, can you give Vokobo a message for me? Sure. What's up? Once he gets out, I want to go visit Emmy's grave with him. <laughs> That's a pretty big deal. There's a lot we have to take care of before we can even get to that, though. Yeah. Otherwise, Okubo will get executed and never have his name cleared. We'll fix it. Don't worry. I hope you're right. We can't let him die in there. Agreed. I'll give him the message. Really, guys? I don't believe this. You're serious? Yeah. He told us his name was Sugiura at first. Fumiakun. You know, I only met him once before Emmy's death. Both of us were a little shy, though, so we didn't really talk. I can still remember how he glared at me during the trial. And how I couldn't even look him in the eye. By the way, he told me to tell you something. Huh? He said he wanted... He wants to visit Emmy's grave with you. I see. He really wants to do that? With me? Yeah. I'd like to take him up on that. Ayabe's trial is coming up. We're gonna snare the guy behind 89. A man from the Ministry of Health by the name of Ichinose. Can you do it, though? For real? Yeah. The prosecutor's on my side, too. Ichinose won't stand a chance. I'll tell them you're innocent, too. I gave up on that a long time ago. I thought no one would hear me. No matter how loud I scream. I thought I'd die branded a murderer. But if Fumiyakun understands, Maybe there's still a chance. If the guy who hated me most forgives me, maybe everyone else will too. I'll get you out of here. I promise. Well, sure. Sorry for asking you to do this, Yagami. The family's a real mess right now. Sure you don't want to bring Kaito-san along? He got expelled, remember? They wouldn't even let him through the door. Right. Anyway, let's go. Doubt I can stop them all on my own. Stop them? What do you mean? Just come on.
Yo, Kengo. Higashi Anaki. Finally went and brought me Yagami-san, huh? Huh? Easy. It's okay. Need something from me? Our patriarch is dead. And I hear you've got the scoop on who did it. You know who the mole is. And I want you to tell us. So you want revenge? We don't just want it. We need to get it. All part of being a Yakuza. You're gonna massacre the son of a bitch! You can't handle it. The fuck you say to me?! I've told them that already. But they won't listen. So what do you want me to do? I mean, you're a lawyer, yeah? Isn't persuasion your job? You can't worm your way out of this. Tell us who the mole is! Or... Do you need a little encouragement? Kengo! I'm rebuilding this family one way or another. Now stand the fuck down, Aniki! If you want to know that bad, I'll tell you. Huh? But... Who is he? Kuroiwa. From the Tokyo PD. Organized crime. Bastard's a cop. Doesn't end with him, though. Kuroiwa's just a tool for the people really behind all this. They're not afraid of some small-time Yakuza thugs. Oh, shut up. That's why I'm gonna beat them myself, in court. You... You seriously think you can do that? Matsukane-san was like a father to me for the last 20 years. I knew him longer than you guys. I want revenge as bad as you. Maybe more. Can you let me handle this one? I owe you one, Yagami. Don't mention it. Later. Killing Kuroiwa wouldn't accomplish shit. He's just the tip of this whole fucked up iceberg. Let Yagami do this. You might even want to consider helping him.
Yo. Sorry, Higashi pulled you into that. <laughs> Were you spying on me? Not too hard when you've got a drone. <laughs> I guess not, no. Anyways, with Matsugane-san gone, the family's been drifting in the wind like a kite without a string. Looks like you brought him back down to Earth, though. Thanks, man. Uh, you hit your head or something? Yeah, yeah, make your jokes. Just don't say I never said it. Right. Stay down. Don't give me some. <laughs>
guess we're doing this. Back to it. Arigatou gozaimashita. Arigatou gozaimashita. This is Yagami. Back. Hey, man. How's the prep going for Ayabe's trial? Not bad. I've gone everywhere I wanted to go, at least. So, you ready to do this, then? There's no going back after this. Well, when you put it like that... So, you ready to get this rolling? Uh, give me a few. All right, I'll be... How do you feel, Yagami-san? Yeah, I'm good to go. Gotcha. By the way, uh, I just got a call from Hoshino-kun. Sounded gloomy as hell. Apparently, he wants you to talk to Genda-sensei over at the office when you get a minute. Oh? He didn't say what about, though. Anyway, I'm just the messenger. Catch you later.
Yo. Hmm? You get called in too? Yep. Just walked in. Is Hoshino-kun not back yet? Not yet, no. Is something the matter? No, not really. Over here, Yagami. Something you wanted to discuss, Genda-sensei? No, not me. Him. Prosecutor Izumira. They've got men monitoring every nook and cranny of your agency. Figured it'd be safer to talk here. More bad news? Is that how you treat a guest? And no, it's good news. Guess it can't be all bad. Ichinose will testify at the trial. So, you convinced him, huh? Run into any trouble? No, it went fairly smoothly. So, you want me to explain 89? Yes, at the upcoming trial. And by that, you mean the one for the murdered lawyer? That's right. Before his death, that lawyer made a phone call to Dr. Shono. Of course, we have no reason to believe that call had anything to do with the killing. Dr. Shono in 89? Involved in a murder? <laughs> it's quite far-fetched, if you ask me. A preposterous notion. <laughs> Indeed. However, that doesn't change the fact that the call was made. And so we'll need to explain in court just why it can't be related. Hmm. Ah. And don't worry. You won't need to say a word about the call itself. Just explain the situation. 89 is a drug of global importance, and Dr. Shono and his team have put immense effort into its development. Once you've explained, I'm sure it'll clear the air. Yes, I see. I'm not sure I can portray it accurately, though. I'm not a scientist, after all. If you would be more comfortable, we could always call Dr. Shono to the stand. But his language may in fact be too complicated. I'm not sure our jurors would understand. If possible, I'd prefer it were you up there, Ichinose-san. You have a point. It would be foolish to take up Dr. Shono's time with such an insignificant matter. Very well, I'll do it. Contact the Ministry of Health when the trial date is decided. Thank you very much, sir. If you'll excuse me, I have another meeting to get to. Nice going. You made it sound like if Ichinose didn't testify, Shona would. It worked. Ichinose didn't want to risk Shono getting in there and slipping up. Can't trust anyone to do it but himself. Good work, Izumita. Turns out you can be pretty devious when you want to be. Devious? Really? I'm kidding. Really, I can't thank you enough. We'll have Ichinose out in the open thanks to you. All we have to do now is find a way to corner him. What about Hamura from the Matsugane family? Can we ask him to testify? Mm, he's still on the run. Guy couldn't even be bothered to come to his patriarch's funeral. Of course not. How could he after what he did? Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we just grab Kuroiwa and get him to confess to being the mole? You do remember the beating he gave you last time, right? I let my guard down, that's all. Cut it out, you two. Come on, guys. We've got Ichinose right where we want him. We just need to figure out what to do next. You're not gonna win empty-handed, you know. It's Mafuyu. What's up? Ayabe's casino is getting raided by the police. Lamont? Now? Yeah. They just started. Morita is setting the wheels in motion. They've already arrested most of the employees. I get it. It's a character assassination. A 
crooked cop running an illegal casino. No surprise if he commits a murder, too. The chief prosecutor is hitting us where it hurts. Right. Just wanted to give you a heads up. So, how's it looking, Yagami-kun? Do you think you can win? I'll do the best I can. Good news is, I have a lot of help. Thanks for the call, Mafuyu. Of course. See ya. Morita's here in Kamurocho, blowing the lid off Ayabe's casino. In that case, I'd better get going. He's not gonna come here. Well, better safe than sorry. Huh. If they're raiding the casino, Kuroi was probably there too. What do you want to do, Tuck? The chief prosecutor's made his move. Probably wouldn't hurt to stop by and say hello. We know all about him now. You sure this is a good idea? He's not the kind of guy you mess around with. Don't worry. We just want to check in. Let's hit it. <laughs> 